At first, she wasn't sure where she was. Her brain convinced her she was in the cellar of her childhood home before she recognized her surroundings. He'd brought her here, the psycho under the bed. Shayla and Brooke had awakened in the basement with no idea where they were or how they'd arrived. The memory rocketed her blood pressure and made her head swim. She turned back to the window. Even if she freed her wrists, there was no way to reach the window. He'd left the basement devoid of furniture, nothing to stand on. If she scaled the wall, she'd never fit through the window. Though Brooke might squeeze through the opening. Shayla listened for her daughter's gentle breathing and heard nothing. She spun around and searched for Brooke, panic surging into her throat when she realized the girl was missing. Struggling to her feet, Shayla stumbled to the door, her feet screaming with pins and needles until the blood rushed into them. Where's my daughter? Please give her back. The ceiling squeaked over her head as the man rose from a chair. What was the man doing to her daughter? She's only four, she cried before the door. Please don't touch her. I'll do anything you want. Just don't harm my daughter. She waited for a reply. Several seconds passed before the floorboards groaned. His footsteps trailed across the ceiling as he moved from one room to the next, in no rush to appease Shayla. She paced the room and searched each corner for anything she could use to escape the basement.